Hey y'all, my name is Matrice Wilson. This is my first video. So right now I'm starting off with Reynolds London's um, Primer Stay Matte. I'm just applying it all over my face, especially in my T-zone because I get very oily right there. Um, right here I'm just using my Makeup Revolution C6. I got this from Kayla Rouser Davis. Applying an even layer of it to get ready for the makeup application. Now I'm using my Juvia's Place The Nubian 2 palette. I'm just gonna go inside with that orange shade, and right now I'm just packing on that orange shade just to get a very vibrant color. Probably talking about two or three. Just really packing it on because I really want that orange to just pop. So yeah, guys, I'm really nervous about this YouTube thing. It's something I really enjoy doing, so why wait any longer? So now I am done with both of the eyes applying the orange. Now I'm just going to go into that brown shade. I believe it's and I'm just smoothing out my edges. Sorry about the mirror and the covering what I'm doing. I'm gonna get used to it. It's my first time, you know, doing a makeup tutorial, so I'll make sure that I'm in, you know, view so you guys can see what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just putting that on top of that orange shade just to blend out the orange. You don't want that harsh look. Just want to make sure you really blend that out because you want that soft gradient effect. Yeah, guys, I guess I can tell you a little about me. I'm 22. I have two kids, a husband, and I obviously enjoy, enjoy doing makeup. So, this is something that I do in my spare time. Just really like got really serious with it. But right here I'm just popping on a darker brown shade and I'm just splitting that in my crease and also in my outer corner. And uh, what I do first is I pack the eyeshadow on there just to get the color that I want and then I blend it out into the other colors. I just do like that dark shade, I just go inside my crease just a little bit. I'm like probably midway. I don't do the full crease because I'm gonna cut my crease anyways. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to make sure that I blend out that harsh brown. Because you do not want that brown just sitting there. So blend, blend, blend. And yes, I am a beginner. Well, I wouldn't consider myself a beginner, but I'm not just, you know, the best at makeup. But this is why, this is why I'm doing my makeup channel now to grow and progress, you know, for you guys to watch me grow. There I am going back inside with that orange shade that I started with, and I'm just blending out that brown. Making sure everything looks smooth because you want everything to look smooth and you don't want it to look uneven or blotchy when it comes to like taking your pictures. So blending is very important, guys. Very important. So I'm doing the other eye just with that dark brown shade in the Nubian 2 palette. And I actually had this palette for a long time and I never really... <laughs> even used it because I wasn't you know as serious with the makeup it's just something about having a new palette I 
I'm up here. I'm probably talking to my husband. I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't remember. But guys, let me know in the comments below. Like, what would you like to see out of me? Would you like to see um, full face? Or you just want to see makeup? I mean, eyeshadow um, tutorials. Would you like to see a full face tutorial? Or my everyday um, face tutorial? Just give me some type of, you know, start to where you know to get my channel going right now i'm just looking because my eyes look very 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 small i was just trying to see did i have a lazy eye or something as you see i laugh really really goofy <laughs> but right now i'm just still blending making sure everything is together just blend, blend, blend before I cut my crease. I'm just making sure everything looks smooth. Everything's look good right now. And here I am cutting my crease with the Makeup Revolution um, in C6. And I'm looking up just so I can get like a guideline of where my cut crease should be. So I'm just going in with that Makeup Revolution Concealer, which is really good. Like, I'm so glad that I found it because it really makes my eyeshadows, like, pop. So, yeah, I'm just applying that. I'm doing a half cut crease. I haven't mastered a full cut crease. So what I do is I just do the cut crease in the front, and then I um, basically just, like, have like an uneven end if that makes sense <laughs> so when I go back into that darker shade to blend out my cut crease it won't look so harsh like you won't see a line where I cut the crease at at the end so I'm just doing the same on the other eye looking up so I can get a um, guide for my cut crease Also, guys, I am from Birmingham, Alabama, and you're probably catching up on my accent. I am very country. <laughs> it's just something I can't help. But right here, I am applying NYX Mixing Medium, and this is just to make my um, eyeshadow stick. And this is the blue shade that's in the Nubian 2 palette that I'm applying on top of the Mixing Medium. So I'm just applying that all over where I um, applied the C6 by Mecca Revolution. I'm just applying that to the lid. See how that blue is? That blue is just popping. Yes. That blue looks really good. There I am again. I am applying the mixing medium again. Before I apply that blue shade. I don't know. I don't know if a voiceover would be easier or just talking throughout a video. Really wasn't comfortable talking directly to a camera just yet. So I felt like the the voiceover would be, you know, comfortable bowl for me. But I'm just doing the same thing on the other side, applying that blue and just looking, making sure that I applied the right amount of blue. And now I'm just going back in with that brown shade inside of that um, Nubian 2 palette. And I'm just blending away the harsh line on the top of my, um, I shall and also on the sides. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to take my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in Trinidad and my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to apply that all over my face. I just start using the NARS and I actually love it. I really do. I have oily skin though so I have to make sure that I use a heavy primer just to keep me matte for you know. A long amount of time see so, yeah, I'm just applying on my face and I'm using um, buffing motions pat buff pat buff is what I'm doing all over my face I just got into the real technique brushes and oh my god I am in love I love this brush right here because it's small enough to get into side like little small areas I was using my Morphe um, 413 brush and I loved it for a good little minute but then it started to become a problem when I had to like go above my eyebrows and you know put the foundation right there and then the foundation again on top of my eyebrows then I have to go back in with my my um dip brow and I just did not like doing that so this brush right here is easier to get inside of the cracks and crevices of everything so yeah this is my favorite brush at the moment so now I am using my LA girl pro concealer in fine and I'm just gonna highlight all of the highlighted areas on my face which will be the top of my forehead the bridge of my nose my under eye I also do my cupid bow and my chin Uh, yeah, I believe I'm looking for something right now. Probably my sponge. That is the Real Technique sponge, and I fell in love with it. I usually just use Beauty Blenders, the original ones, because I felt like they were the only ones that had the sponge down pack. Every time I got like a different sponge, it was either too hard or just wasn't what I expect. But I just recently picked up the Real Technique sponge and it does the job i really like it it's like the closest that you'll get to an original beauty blender now right here um, i'm not so good with eyeliner so i'm just perfecting my eyeliner by using some concealer under my eyes and just making that eyeliner sharp i have hooded eyes so it's really 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 hard for me to apply um eyeliner correctly because once i apply it then the whole shape of my eyes change and also it just gives me a rounder look instead of that sharp crisp eyeliner that i look for so i just use a little trick to put some concealer under there now i'm taking my ben Nye banana powder and I am putting that all over the highlighted places that I've highlighted. So yeah, sorry guys, my microphone, um, I guess it stopped. But right now I am going to contour my face with the Fenty Trio Stick. And that shade is um, Espresso. I'm just doing the top of my forehead for a slimmer forehead, my jawline, and also my cheek area. I'm going in with that same beauty splash, sponge, but the bottom of it, and I'm just blending out my contour. My daughter just gave me some of her water. She told me that water was good, so I told her, let me try it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just blending, blending, blending. And I really like the finish of the Fenty um, contour stick. I really think like it brings like 
color back into my face also it gives me dimension but yeah I'm just still blending making sure I don't leave any harsh lines from when I applied the stick also it's a cream to powder contour stick so you have to make sure that you work fast with the product hey guys let me know in the comments below if you like the voiceovers and if not you want to see more of me talking and you know chit chatting but right here i'm also contouring my nose i really don't contour my nose really but for this look i was looking for like a snatch nose you know just for the look but yeah i just used that same um cream contour by fenty and i just put it on the bridge of my nose and when i blend i just brung down the cream contour all the way down to the bridge of my nose I'm just blending it out. Sorry guys that you can't see. I'm still new to this filming thing. So you're going to see that Huda palette a lot in this video. Right now I'm just, um, I just swiped off all of the excess powder that I had on my face. And now I'm just getting ready for my Sephora powder. Um, it's also, I think it's the micro smooth. I'll have everything in the description box below, but I believe it's the micro smooth, um, powder by Sephora. I'm just applying that all over my face as a finish. Just give me that even look. I believe the shade is in mahogany and I got that from Kayla Rouser Davis too. I really enjoy watching her uh, makeup tutorials. So now I've just used, I'm going to use a blush by Tarte. It's called Feisty. It's just like a little soft pink blush. And I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheek. Just do like a little grin so I can see where to apply the blush. Now I'm going in with the highlighter by Fenty. It's called Hustle Baby and I really love it. It's like a really soft, rosy type color. And it really looks good on darker woman complexion. So yeah, I'm just putting that on all of the areas that I highlighted, which were my under eye, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and just a teensy wincy little bit on the top of my forehead. Now I am lining my lip up with NYX Lip Liner in Nutmeg. I'm just going to um, prep my lips for another NYX Intense Gloss. And the color is Cinnamon Roll. And it's a really nice color. I remember seeing um, that color go viral on Facebook because they said it was like a very nice color for um, dark skinned women. But right here, I am just smoking under my um, lash line, bottom lash line, with Madagascar again under my um, under my lash line, lash line. Sorry, guys. But um, yeah, and also I'm going in with a shimmer shade in that Nubian Two palette and putting it in my inner tear duct. And right here, I uh oh. Well, this is the finished look. The mascara that I used was the e.l.f. 3-in-1 um, mascara. So, yeah, this is the look, guys. I really enjoyed doing the makeup tutorial. It was very fun, and this is something I enjoy. So, hopefully, you'll see more from me. Guys, um, I am here for the construction constructive criticism on anything just let me know although I am sensitive I can take it girl this is just something that I want to do and I'm very passionate about it and I'm very serious about it so you guys just let me know right here I'm just feeling myself guys and yes I am 100% natural so <laughs> that's why you don't see a part in my head shoot disappear <laughs> 
but yeah guys let me know in the comments below how i did please like subscribe and share this video please thank you for watching bye